three common burglars who are way over their heads. No escape route, no getaway car, and no plan in case we showed up. We being the Squire and I. With the way things have deteriorated in Gotham City these last few weeks, Dick made the executive decision to call for backup. It was my idea to ask for Night and Squire. Back as a vetted West, Robin. I don't think so. This way is a dead end, though. It's not a crush. I just like the way we operate together. Like we can read each other's thoughts. When it comes to the common criminal, I've been taught to take flight hysteria into consideration. Flight hysteria? The inability to think out your next move. You panic and inevitably slip up. Good old spontaneity. Chasing three armed gangsters into an abandoned hospital can seem pretty spontaneous too. As in, you might spontaneously die. But if Bruce taught me anything, it's that you have to have a game plan for everything. Even for death. With great preparation and a little luck, you can avoid it. Yeah! The bullets with your name on them. The knives with your reflection in the steel. Or the garrote that squeezes against your windpipe. <laughs> the Dark Knight strikes again. Yeah, great care and a little luck. Let's go, Squire. Relate. Nightwing and Batgirl assembled a network, a group of our most trusted allies to help out in a crunch. Only this specific crunch has gone on much longer than we originally anticipated. Gotham is in a downward spiral. The gangs took notice of Batman's disappearance and decided that now was as good a time as any to redraw Gotham's underworld turf map. Everyone's come to the party. Big boys like Penguin and Two-Face are at war with one another, but younger, more ambitious gangs have made their presence felt as well. The police force has been pushed to the edge, and during long, thankless shifts and having their families threatened, many have seen no option but to quit. Rioting, looting, the mayor has declared a state of emergency. The citizens of Gotham are looking for a savior, for someone to take back the streets. They're looking for Batman. Or... a Batman. Where's that backup I requested? Heads up! Knockout cast incoming! Uh, better late than never? Tell that to him. We have a problem, Nightwing. Dick has changed since we lost Bruce. It's as if he's cut himself off from all emotion. He's unapproachable. And it's not like I haven't tried. If we can just keep the gangs under control, we might be able to restore some order back to Gotham. Or something like it. Stop the bus. These prisoners won't be sniffing our ghost blue paint job anytime soon. They can thank the Joker for that. But your freedom, dear friends? comes courtesy of the Black Mask. Black Mask? But you're supposed to be dead. If that were true, you wouldn't be a free man right now, Crane. But make no mistake, freedom comes at a price. You paid to me with a little of your effort and a smudgeon of your time. With you as our leader, you should know, I follow no one. And look where that's gotten you, Ivy. Until now, of course. Hey, didn't you hear the lady? We're not anyone's follower. Watch and learn, friends. M32, activate. <laughs> Each of you was given a chemical implant with your sedatives during your recent stay at Blackgate. The implant is radioactivated and, well, You've seen it triggers death. You better have a damn good reason. <laughs> a reason? Batman is dead. Light it up, boys. How soon before the city streets are under control? How long will Gotham remain under curfew? Prince conference ended. No more questions. Criminals infiltrated your officer's ranks, Commissioner? Is it true that 15 cops resigned today? Is it time to call it quits, Commissioner Garden? 
Is your department intimidated by Gotham's gangs? Have you lost Gotham, Commissioner? Last question, sir. Is Batman really dead? Riddler. Commissioner, look. Signal. He doesn't look happy in there. Maybe because he can see how we've let Gotham go to hell. It has to be one of us, Dick. We've gone over this, Tim. Well, I've got a news flash. Someone else has beaten us to it. I've read the news. Fed up citizens playing dress up here. No, I'm talking about someone good. Someone with experience. Maybe even someone we know. What are you talking about? Dick. He uses batterings. Ones that Bruce designed. I found these yesterday on a mugger. Tonight, I discovered a bat rope he used as an escape room. So whoever this guy is, he's no ordinary citizen. From what I've deduced, this Batman has a varied but brutal style of fighting. From grappling and martial arts techniques to expert marksman skills. Three suspects he apprehended on Monday swore up and down it was Batman but none of them got a clear look because he moves so fast. So, who are you? You move in the shadows and only operate at night. And you want to be caught. Otherwise, you wouldn't have left so many clues, like flame grease, commonly used to lubricate train wheels, and limestone residue found mainly in caverns beneath Gotham, and annealed glass with metal oxides, commonly used in tinted heat-absorbing windows of skyscrapers, living underground, wearing a replica of my father's suit, and fighting crime. You almost sound like Batman, but you're not. Nowhere close. There can only be one Batman, and he isn't you. Ah! And maybe he isn't me either. But Dick is against taking on the mantle, the point of contention being that he believes no one should take Batman's place. Yeah! But look at what happened to Gotham without the Dark Knight. He was much more than a crime fighter. He was Gotham's protector. Her guardian angel. Yeah! And Gotham needs that back. At any cost. Including Dick's friendship. Well, that was... inspiring, Master Dick. Alfred, didn't see you there. Something on your mind? Well, since you've cornered me on it, there is the issue of Master Bruce's legacy. Legacy? Yes, you know, the matter of that costume you were staring at earlier. Case closed, Alfred. Bruce is gone. True, but that doesn't necessarily mean that Batman is gone as well, does it? I've been over this with Tim several times. I see. Barbara? What is it? Dick, it's Arkham. It's been decimated. The inmates were en route from Blackgate Prison, Nightwing. The decontamination of Arkham Asylum from the Black Gloves toxins gave extra time to whoever planned this massive breakout. This is well organized and long in a planning, Commissioner. I need to see a list of all recent security recruits. An inside job? <laughs> By the way, how are you holding up, son? Let's stick to the task at hand, Commissioner. Fair enough. But tell me, how can over a hundred crazy escapees disappear without a trace? And considering the escapees themselves, you'd think it near impossible they could be herded like cattle. Unless... Unless the ones shepherding the inmates gave them little choice but to follow. All your lives you've been labeled sick, incurable, irredeemable. You've been persecuted for your beliefs and desires. And if not for the individual failures that led you to the great tomb known as Arkham, you would be looked upon with fear, even respect. I can get you that respect. If you work as one, under my guidance, you will reap the rewards life has cheated you of. Enough talk, Mask. When do we get started? Tonight. Gotham's network has kept the dam from breaking. No one can argue with that. But there are too many holes that need plugging. For every one that's fixed, three more take its place. It's just a matter of time. Dick knows it. Gotham knows it. And so do the enemies. 
They're ready to topple it over like a house of cards. But not on my watch. Not on Batman's either. But there's one matter to clear up first. And that's to let the wannabe know that he's a wannabe. Though your intentions are in the right place, friend, I'm sure we can come up with a new persona for you. Something like Captain Phony. Or maybe Identity Complex Man. Gotcha. Two-Face is anticipating this shipment of weapons and explosives to be used for a full onslaught against his enemies. Namely, the Penguin who has cut off Two-Face's usual supply routes and has increased his own street power tenfold. Load him up. Two-Face is waiting. The two crime lords have forced allegiances from all of Gotham's crime families. Two sides split down the middle, all of them too busy fighting each other to see the real threat coming. The Black Mask. Wow, Batman made this thing? Like, what else can it do? Can it fly? Make it fly? Oh, please? Easy. There's a process you have to go through. Steps, you know. <laughs> Let's see. Crap! Did not mean to do that. Damien, thanks for lifting the GPS signal scrambler. I've been looking for you in the Batmobile all night. Since you're in the vicinity, I'll need you to swing by Gotham Harbor for a look-see. You're kidding! Right now? I picked up an unscheduled Freightliner docking on my satellite. Could be nothing, but to be sure it's not smuggling of any sort. Sounds system. boring. I want to see this thing fly and figure out the radio while you're at it. Who's the recent finishing school graduate? Uh, must be radio interference, Oracle. You hearing voices? I can see her too, Little D. I'll be taking the Batmobile's controls. Thank you very much. <laughs> and I'll be happy to show your gal pal how she can fly. Give the Batmobile a good wash. Stay out of Nightwing's way. And maybe he'll forget about your little joyride. Yeah, right. You're trying to grow me either way. Not that I wasn't trying. Uh, I think I just hit someone. Or rather, you hit someone. Hard, too. If you felt it, it must be very hard. The Batmobile is built to absorb and redistribute the shock of any impact. Oracle! There's something wrong with the car! <laughs> Damien's in trouble, birds. How quickly can you get there? Five minutes. Not quick enough, Blackhawk. I've got him, Oracle. Heard it on the open line. Hold your breath for me. <sighs> Oracle? Can you hear me? Oracle? I think Batman just rolled over in his grave. Say, crack. Can you think of anyone who likes fresh meat? Mmm, me, 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 me. No, no, no. And thanks for the appetizer. Listen, guys, we can work this out. I'll turn the other cheek and you can just go. I won't tell anyone I saw you. That's fair, okay? I don't have a problem with you. Shh, just go on. Run. Run, I said. Sushi time. You all right? Who? Me? No, the other kid on the sushi menu. Uh, Dick? What happened back there? Stays back there? We'll see. it. Walk. Walk. Yeah. Let's go. How about running? Think you can run? Fan out. Damien, 
stay down and don't let them see you. Understand? I'm here, boys. Come and get me. With Batman dead, Black Mass has declared open season on Gotham's vigilantes. They'll be happy to hear we get the head of the snake. Yeah! Wait, what's that? Black Mask didn't get the memo. I am Batman! So he raided my weapon stash. And along with it, the six mil it cost me. Penguin's a dead bird. Moss, here's another one of ours. Half eaten, hell of a bite too. A killer croc bite. Message read loud and clear. What do you mean, Mr. Two-Face, sir? Penguin wants me to know he's the one who hijacked these Arkham prisoner buses. So he's crippled our ammo supply. And recruited some heavy hitters. Both in the same night. Where were you during all this, Dell? You're supposed to be my intelligence chief. I... I never seen it coming, boss. My inside people say no way Penguin's involved. There are only two powers in Gotham, Dell. Penguin and me. And you actually think he's not involved? I... I don't know. I'll give you time to think about it. Duffy, you're my new intelligence chief. Penguin wants us to turn it up a notch. We'll turn it up to ten. Find a way to lure this chicken out of his coop. Get to work, chief. Y yes boss, right away. Me? Eh, yeah, I wish I'd done it. Only to see the look on Avi's face. Ha, <laughs> but if I didn't rip old Two-Face off, then who did? Some psycho with a death wish, perhaps? Our insider says Two-Face thinks it was you who freed those prisoners from them Arkham buses. <laughs> Moi? Paranoid, anyone? Well, one thing's for sure. We can expect some kind of strike against us. And if he's low on ammo, it's better for us to strike first. Bosworth, I want you to find out which lunatic I can thank for this generous gift. Then kill him. He obviously doesn't understand the rules around here. Everything in Gotham runs through me. See how much easier it is when you fight fire with fire, Nightwing? Who do you think you are? Isn't it obvious? You killed those men, wearing the bat symbol! It could just as easily have been you laying there with smoking holes in your heads. And it still can be. I don't think so. Poor Dick Grayson, still playing by the same rules that got your mentor killed. Gotham has always been evil. I used to tell Batman it seemed as if the devil himself constructed this city as his personal conduit. Let's face it, Gotham became much worse after Batman emerged as her protector, attracting the attention of scores of homicidal challengers. Criminals who used him to gain street cred. Becoming a public figure was his first mistake. He was more effective staying in the shadows, as an urban legend, striking fear into the hearts of Gotham's criminal underground. His second mistake was teaming up with Police Commissioner Gordon, where he sought validation. When that wasn't enough, he recruited Dick Grayson, an impressionable orphan child who would become the first Robin. Taken under his wing, not for the child's sake, but for his own. A complex and emotional construction to keep him safe from the outer fringes of madness. From doing what he feared really needed to be done in Gotham. Then, I came along. I had a different philosophy. I didn't like being constrained by Batman's ideologies. I thought lessons should be learned, examples made. I later learned that he brought me under his wing only to keep me from eventually becoming his enemy. I never desired to be his enemy. Only his eventual replacement. And that time has come. You're not Batman. Batman had rules. A code of honor. And Batman didn't kill. Ask him if he still believes that. You'll be able to dream about wearing a cape and cowl all you want in prison. Ah! 
Let's be reasonable, dick. Bruce Wayne is dead. But Batman didn't need to be. And you did nothing! You watched Gotham burn and collapse around you. You recruited outside help, for God's sake. You buried Batman, dick. And I dug him out. Then the hole in the ground should fit you just fine! No one asked the little leaguer. Lay off, Damien. I'm dealing with him. You know about Bruce and you know my name. So I've narrowed you down some. Or, more like Pate. Jason Todd. We want the same thing, dick. We just have different ways of expressing it. Yours beats around the bush. Mine is to the point. Ah! Damien! Huntress and Black Canary. Think I'll be going when you save another meaningless life. Want us to hunt him down, Nightwing? Save it. He's mine. I'd love to see his black mask bubble from the heat of my flames. I'd give him a pass. I mean, he busted us out of Arkham, didn't he? And into another prison. His. Don't let your ego get in the way of better judgment, Garfield. Our service is a fair trade-off. Whatever that may be. Jane Doe and Garfield Lynn's The Firefly. We are ready to discuss your very important mission. Take a seat. I was just getting to you. Step one has been successfully executed. See how easy this has been for you so far? Step two won't be as kind. Precious timing and teamwork are crucial to our success. But by dawn, Gotham will lie in fiery ruin. Jane Doe, you make a great impression. Your talents will help light the match to the fuse. I trust I have your complete cooperation. So what exactly is my mission, Skullface? Something you, in particular, will enjoy a great deal. Spit it out. Patience has never been one of your virtues, Garfield. But worry not. I have just the thing to temper your temper. Allow me to introduce Adam Bomb. His name should speak for what he does best. Your reputation precedes you, Mr. Linz. I've often admired the way you light up a room. You know, Skullface, I like the way you think. Now somebody give me my suit. Times have changed, Brucey. The underworld has gotten smarter, bolder, and deadlier than you'd ever thought possible. These guys are afraid of nothing. Least of all, someone who'd simply split their lip, or maybe break their arm. Every lowlife in town seems to have a purpose now. One that pays enough to endure a little hard time. Take these guys, for instance. They work for the Black Mask. How do I know that? Let's just say, a little birdie told me. Because Batman has become real fear for once. And fear me, they do. In the name of God, I banish you to hell. Keep a seat warm for me. Where can I find the black mask? <laughs> Everywhere. Everything I want to know. What was my first question? Oh, yeah. The black mask. The air down here is toxic. <clears throat> Enough of the dead ends, okay, friend? The earthquake showed this place no mercy. What's that whistle? No. Wind. Coming from... No. Through the train. Holy... I don't believe it. You built your very own Batcave, Jason Todd. My gut told me it was you, but I didn't want to believe it. You of all people. Taking the mantle? No. Stealing it. Uh-oh. Whatever happened to the caped crusader? C Catwoman?
Gunshot wound, 89 stitches, and a transfusion fit for an elephant. No use beating yourself up, if I may say so. Damien, this child? I could have gotten him killed tonight. I have a responsibility to him now and I let him down, Alfred. Bruce also said the same of you and Master Timothy many times over the years. And of Jason Todd. Him as well. Jason was right about one thing, Alfred. I let this happen to Gotham. It falls on me now. I didn't work hard enough or fast enough or- You are just one man, Master Richard. And so was Bruce. So was Batman. I've tried to be him before, Alfred. And I failed. I didn't like what i become. An honest mistake. No one can be him. But someone can represent what he stood for. The ideals that made Batman. Justice, consequence, and ironclad resolve to protect. And there is none other that has the wherewithal to uphold those ideals than you. Richard Grayson. Commissioner, you really see a connection between the escapees and the homicides down at the docks? Judging by the teeth marks and the half-eaten bodies of Two-Faces men, I'd say hell yes. Toxicology will have the poison results in a day or two. I don't need to wait that long to know if Poison Ivy's work. So this proves Oswald Cobblepot was behind the Arkham breakout. Don't you think that's a bit of a stretch? When you work Gotham as long as I have, you'll learn to trust your hunches. I'm the new district attorney, Gordon. There are protocols that need to be adhered to. I just can't go around wiretapping and arresting people on a hunch. We're talking the Penguin here with all due respect, Hampton. A criminal mastermind engaged in a bloody war with Two-Face. What do you think was in that freight, Twinkies? There's a lot of gang violence in Gotham City, but your office has yet to pin down any larger organization between these gang wars. Then we'll just wait until some innocents get killed. That's what you're saying, right? Maybe if you waited for proper procedure once in a while, you'd have some of these guys locked up already. Just my opinion here, but you relied far too much on Batman, and not enough on your own men. What we're seeing now is a sign, Commissioner. And I don't like what it reads. A sign of what, Hampton? A sign that maybe some new blood is needed in Gotham. With all due respect, Commissioner, we're not dealing with garden variety criminal minds here. Hanging around Batman all that time has suckered you into thinking these guys are something special. He scared you. Just like he scared the rest of this city. After what Freeze put me through, nothing scares me anymore. If you want me to ask the judge for a wiretap, you'll need more than what's in these pictures for me to connect this to Cobblepot, or anyone else. So if you don't mind, I'll show myself- What the- Let's move. Fast. A message from Two-Face. He'd like to extend the proverbial olive branch. Don't worry, honey. Two-Face really likes you. But next time, tough love will turn into Teflon love. I owe you one, Catwoman. Why so formal, Tit? I mean, a Batman. Besides, I've missed you. Knock it off, Selina. You know I'm not Bruce. I know, hun. I'm just breaking the tension. This place is a creep show, and I'm not easily creeped. Then don't look back here. Nice. Tortured, starved, and left to rot. This is one whack job you led me to. You followed me. Not that I'm complaining. Only because I thought you were the Batman that's been terrorizing the streets. But you're too short to be him. Thanks. So just who is this sick puppy? <laughs> <laughs>
<sighs> One whose bite is worse than his bark. Well, there goes diplomacy! I'm ending your little masquerade now, Jason! But the game is only just beginning! That's right, Boy Wonder. Follow me. This is my playground. The kid can fight. He's a good balance of brains and skill. Always has been. But he was brainwashed by Bruce to be like him. To have his same moral compass. And to fight in battle only like Bruce taught him to fight. And like Bruce, that will be his downfall. Don't hurt yourself now. Why don't you come out and play, Jason? Then I can tear that cowl off your big deranged head. You're showing me a side I haven't seen very often, Tim. And I like it. Places rigged with speakers to throw me off. I'll still find you. Ah! You have one chance to save yourself, Tim. Then face me, coward! Ah! Join me. Be my Robin. Join you? Psychopathic killer? Sure. Why not? You find this humorous? Ah! I'm deadly serious. You look ridiculous in that ghetto. Like a kid out for trick or treat. Uh, Look at me. Uh, uh, Do you see terror? Do you see fear? Or is it just your own reflection? Uh, you're right. I see my reflection in your eyes. It's kicking your ass! <coughs> There's nothing funny about it, Jason. So why are you <laughs> laughing? Just one more to go. To face Penguin? No. The entire underworld thrives only if Gotham City thrives. In the collapse of its foundation, the banks, the government, the infrastructure will not only cripple Gotham, but its crime lords too. Penguin and Two-Face's style of organized crime is grounded in legitimate enterprise. They need Gotham to function or to sustain themselves. No, this is something else. Someone else. But who? Who? That's exactly what the network will be finding the answers to. Starting here, starting now. Listen up, troops. While we were distracted by Two-Face and Penguin's turf wars, someone else is busy plotting this attack. Only government buildings and banks were targeted. God knows how many lives they spared by attacking at night. Still hot rubbish, whoever they are. But innocent lives were still lost. The death toll's at 33 and climbing. We need to find out who did this, whatever it takes. We'll start with whoever gains the most out of this. But we're not going to wait till he shows his ugly head. For now, we stay on patrol. Huntress, you're in charge. Tim went off on his own and did what I refused to do. Take on the mantle of the bat. But I've been lying to Tim and Alfred. It wasn't because of my fear of failure or because I felt it was wrong to try to replace Batman. I refused to take on the role of my mentor because it's what he asked me to do. In his final message to me, Bruce ordered me to stay away from the Cape and Cow. And I listened. He said he had enough faith in Nightwing and Robin to carry his torch. But Bruce underestimated the psychological effect that Batman had on Gotham. Now, I have to focus on the immediate, Tim. Oracle is able to reactivate the old transponder you tell me about Tim's work. Tim may have figured out who the Batman imposter is by now, but he's not prepared for Jason Todd's flip switch. Something set Jason off, and I think I know what. Blowing up half of Gotham City, assassinating the new district attorney, bumping my vest full of bullets. A hell of a message, boss. But what kind? A suicide note? He had to have known this would bring the full force of the US military down on him. I mean, this is Pearl Harbor. Bloodhaven. He's good as dead. But what's his aim? What does Two Face get out of making Gotham City his war zone? Like you said, suicide. He's gone nuts. They'll be here until we get him. Making one thing certain now. I have lost Gotham.
You weren't thinking of hitting me with that, were you, Master Damien? Tad over the top, isn't it? You can't keep me here. I'll do no such thing. But understand that you've been injured, severely so. And just because you've managed to pry yourself out of bed doesn't mean you're up for the task. What task, Alfred? Your Kevlar tunic saved your life, but your lung is still badly bruised and you still lost quite a bit of blood. Lucky for you, I'm quite the tailor. Sewing up a bullet severed artery isn't for the inexperienced. Easy there. You bruise your own back with all that padding. I'm stronger than any of you think. You have to cut my head off to kill me. A most interesting visual. And I can actually envision that happening, so I'm going to help you out. Squire? A girl? Easy, lad. Your mum was a girl. Once. The hell are you pulling here, Al? It's time to earn your keep. If you're up for it. So long as I'm not wasting any more time in here. Whatever. On the bike then, mate. This is Vicki Vale reporting live with breaking news from the 52nd block of Bridge Street, where Army Blackhawks are battering a suspected two-faced stronghold. Officials say the Blackhawks were fired upon first by RPGs. The city is under strict curfew. People are being warned to stay in their homes until the military can regain control of the city. Nearly 3,000 Army and Marine troops have stormed Gotham and are conducting a sweep of suspected gang hideouts, which is expected to last at least until tomorrow night. The targets of the raids? Harvey Dent, a.k.a. Two-Face, and his arch-enemy, Oswald Cobblepot, a.k.a. The Penguin, both engaged in a bloody street war for control of Gotham's underworld. I have with me renowned Batman and organized crime expert, Batman Jones. Mr. Jones, why is this happening? It's simple. Batman's disappearance means Gotham has no God. No one to answer to. You just compared Batman to God. Doesn't it clear that Batman isn't just a man? He's fear. He's consequence. He's retribution. I can go on. This is just the beginning if you ask me. This is the greatest night of our lives. All the blood, sweat, and tears. The sacrifices I've made, that we've made together. There's no doubt that all the hard work starts here. The master plan begins. For this one tiny moment, we'll savor our success. We did it. Look at me. Will you look at me? They got me scurrying out of Gotham. My damn city. My home. Like some rat with his tail between his legs. You were not wrong, Duffy. This wasn't the Penguin. Penguin would have realized this would tear us both down. But you get that, don't ya? Now that it's too late, cost me everything. So who is it, Duffy? Who is it, really? I, I don't know, boss. I swear. Maybe the, the Joker? He's the only one crazy enough to do this to you. Wrong answer. But the joke does appear to be on me, doesn't it? Sayonara, Duff. Say hello to your wife and kids. They're already waiting for you. Great, the comlet's cutting out. Oracle, can you at least hear me? See ya, Babs. It's just me and Miles of Darkness. But not for long. Someone just started a fire. And they know I'm here. Oh, God. Tim! Tim can't hear you. He's dead. It was self-defense, before you even ask. He invaded my home, took a crowbar to me. 
Lucky me, I was ready for him. Or it could have been me you'd be mourning right now. Jason, you may be a killer, and it looks like you finally lost what was left of your mind. But you're not stupid. No, stupid would be you. You're here holding Batman's old rags while Gotham burns. Do you even know who's responsible? Do you even have a clue? <laughs> I'll give you one. But the answer may shock. You should know that Drake took it like a man. He knew the consequences of his answer. He knew what turning down my proposition would mean. Jason, you're mad. Do you even know what you're talking about? Though I think it would be more fitting if you accepted my proposition. You were the original, after all. Be my sidekick. Be my Robin. You've lost it. Don't you see that? Now take me to Tim, and I'll make sure you get the help you need. It's you who needs help, Dick. You and all of Gotham. And I'm going to help you all. Last chance. Where's Tim? Jason's farther gone than I thought. I'm no doctor, but I think talking this through might help bring him back to some kind of reality. Jason, I know why you're flipping out, but Bruce only meant to put you on the right path. You should have listened to him. You should have sought your peace. Peace? I'll never have peace. What happened to you? What is it you couldn't face? Let's talk about the real issue. You, me, and Batman. Yeah, let's. Jason, by now you've been told of my death. And you're probably surprised to be invited back to the cave. But like Tim and Dick, I'm leaving you with the one thing I can't give anymore. Advice. Turn it off, I already heard what he had to say. Shut up. This time you need to listen. Of all my failures, you have been my biggest. I take full responsibility for your wayward and self-destructive path in life. You were broken, and I thought I could put the pieces back together. I thought I could do for you what could never be done for me. Make you whole. I said turn it off! Now! What happened to you as a child? The terror. The pain. The horrors. But that secret is one that neither of us should have kept. You needed repair. And instead I gave you an outlet to act out on. For that, I apologize. But it's not too late for you to get the proper healing you never received. It's not too late for me to help you. It's time for you to stop what you're doing. Alfred knows of a brilliant doctor. No! Can't you keep up, boy? It's your mouth I can't keep up with. I'll believe it when I don't hear it. Let's get on with it. I'm sure Nightwing could use a hand finding Robin. This way then. Look! Down there! A boat! Let's take it. It'd be easier than walking. I'd like to have a quick once over. See if anyone's around, you know? Wait here. You're in no shape for such a steep climb. Who died and made you my boss? My GPS did. Oracle pinpointed Nightwing's last comlink for me. Besides, you're the gimpy one, and we'd be a right frightful sight taking your lead. I'll give you gimpy. Move over, Mary Poppins! <sighs> Let's get something straight. I am not your sidekick. You're probably mine. We play by my rules, or not at all. The GPS back, you little squib! No. I want to see where this boat takes us. You with me? Huh. Do I have a choice? Nothing Jason says can be taken for truth. He says Tim is dead. I need more proof than his word in an empty cow. Because right now, I need to keep that hope alive. If for nothing else, than to keep me from losing control. But I won't let that happen. I can't let that happen. Where is he, Jason? Depends on what kind of life he led. Can't. There goes his nose. Control your anger. You want to see a rotting corpse? You're a terrible liar, Jason. His pulse didn't lie. Your word means zero. It's your <coughs> turn to face your fears, Dick. Scarecrow's fear gas. Jason must have stolen samples from the bed cave. Alfred inoculated me against every known version of it. His fear agent is useless, but still. It's disorienting me. I'm seeing in threes. Don't go down just yet. The show is just getting good. Let me show you what you've won behind curtain number three. Mm.
Hmm. Out you go. You're one lucky man, Tim. Ah. Bruce's heavily Kevlar fortified tunic shattered that rusty old battering. Better several small cuts than one deep one. The blood loss is sudden enough to drop me. But what happened after? Why didn't you finish me off, Jason, old pal? The possum reflex. Bruce taught it to me. My heart automatically slowed to eight beats per minute to restrict blood loss. I forgot about it. Didn't know it would actually work. I owe you one, Bruce. Bruce's last will and testament didn't go over well with Jason. Whatever traumatized him all those years ago was buried deep. Bruce dug it up, forcing Jason to deal with it. Tough love. But Jason could never seek out another for help. Not even if it was Bruce. It's over, Jason! Whatever scab he formed over the years was unexpectedly ripped off. This is the only way Jason thinks he can heal. By overcompensating. Only now he's too far gone. He's self-destructing. You're right. It is over. Rest in peace, dick. Great. The flat in what's left of this place. The dead man if I lose Jason. Uh, uh, explosions. We must have sniffed out Jason's rat hole. No. The ground is caving in. We gotta move. Gotcha! Tell me you appreciate this. Uh, Damien? I'm sure he'll appreciate it much more if we can get out of here alive. This whole place is going to fall to pieces in a hurry. You can't run forever, Jason. Oh, damn it. Just where I didn't want him. Out in the open and around civilians. He can't make it to the city. I won't let him. So how do you want this to end, Jason? The way it's supposed to end. With me becoming the bat. In your dreams. Oh, really? This coming from the so-called superhero who let Robin die? couldn't protect his beloved city from the catastrophe the Black Mask has set upon it? I might have failed tonight, but where were you, dick? I'll tell you where. Hiding behind Bruce's shadow, paralyzed by the fear of failure. But you already failed. How does it taste? Like blood! Bring it on, then! We can fight while you continue to lose Gotham! Black Mask. The first time his name resurfaced, it was from the paramilitary goons that shot down my blood. The same goons I couldn't question because Jason killed them. Black Mask is dead. Catwoman will make sure of that. So if Black Mask is back, then who's behind the mask? And how could he have gone virtually unnoticed in Gotham while talking Two-Face and the Penguin? Careful! There's no safety net up here, circus boy. How many people died tonight? How many people didn't you protect? And how many people have you killed, Jason? Have you even kept count? One more death and I'll call it a day! Blinded. I have to feel his approach. Time it just right, or I die. <laughs> Out of control. It was too much. I hope he can hang on. The fight is over, Jason. Take my hand. You have no choice. But I do have a choice. Don't do it. You can reform. I'll see to that. What's the matter, Dick? Don't want my blood on your hands. Well, it's too late. Take it now, Jason. Take my hand. I'll be seeing you sooner than you think. No! It didn't have to end this way. If only Jason could have reached out to us. Any one of us. He could have saved himself. But you know what? Some people just don't want to be saved. Because saving means changing. And changing is always harder than staying the same. It takes courage to face yourself in the mirror and look beyond the reflection. To find the you that you should have been. The you who got derailed by cruel childhood events. Events that took your life trajectory and twisted it. Changing it into something unimaginable or even incredible. Giving you the courage to embrace your birthright, your destiny. And you finally realize that you are Batman.